So I just want to make sure I'm not misunderstanding what you're saying. I don't think that I am. I think you're saying you want a negotiated settlement to what's happening in Ukraine. <laughs> right. And we made it. We prepared the huge document in Istanbul that was initialed by the head of the Ukrainian delegation. He affixed his signature to some of the provisions, not to all of it. He put his signature and then he himself said, we were ready to sign it and the war would have been over long ago. It was a clip from Russian President Vladimir Putin's interview with former Fox News host Tucker Carlson. It was Putin's first interview with Western media since Russia invaded Ukraine. Earlier, I spoke to the former Russian Prime Minister Mikhail Kazyanov about that interview and Putin's message that the U.S. should negotiate with Russia to end the war. Joining me now is former Prime Minister of Russia, Mikhail Kazyanov. Nice to see you again, sir. Hello. Pleasure to be in the program. Yeah, this was Putin's first interview with an American outlet since 2021, uh, and it comes, of course, two years into Russia's invasion of Ukraine. What do you make of the timing of the interview here? Uh, timing is uh, very crucial for Mr. Putin. I am a little bit surprised that the, uh, I would say, quite known American journalist decided to provide some special media platform for uh, Putin's propaganda. Yeah, that, that was exactly the interview was set up as uh, Putin's propaganda, and he did it in, a, in a, his normal Putin's way. Though, I, I mean, I think some people would question um, the choice of Tucker Carlson, who is not only a, a fierce supporter of Donald Trump, but has also been uh, sort of warm to, to Russian ideology and, and to the things that Putin has said. D obviously, he chose Tucker Carlson for those reasons, I would imagine. I, I agree. I agree. Yeah. And then just what uh, Putin just described in this interview, that's exactly an address to people who are supporting uh, the funds of Mr. Carson and uh, people who are supporting just uh, Donald Trump. Yeah. That's exactly the issue just built up in the, in the presidential, um, uh, I would say, race, which already have started. Yeah. Let, let's talk about one of his messages, one of sort of his main message, which seemed to be a call on the U.S. to negotiate with Russia to end the war, uh, suggesting that the end of the conflict will not happen on the battlefield, but it will have to be through some sort of agreement with the West. He didn't even mention Ukraine in this. How do you interpret those comments? Uh, we know just all, all the wars. Uh, and on, on, a, on a negotiating table. But the issue here is uh, absolutely, you absolutely correctly just mentioned that uh, in negotiations with the West, not with Ukraine, because just always Mr. Putin and his inner circle, just a uh, few people, they believe that everything in, in this world that's uh, under control of the United States and all negotiations on, on conflicts and everything should be settled with them. Putin is dreaming to be a leader together with the American president, as it was in Soviet Union time, so that all problems, all, I would say, challenges appeared in the world should be settled by two leaders. And he calling again for this system, for this, for, for such a model. That is, that is, he would like to be uh, pride of, of this, that, that he built up again, restore Soviet Union and influence of Russia, it's the same as Soviet Union. That was his dream. So that he it to be respected in the world. How, how much do you think it, it is? Because obviously Putin knows what's going on in the U.S. How much do you think it is about the fact that U.S. aid, uh, the Ukraine aid, for in in the U.S. remains stalled in Congress, and and him knowing that there are Republicans that are stalling that for domestic reasons, but it still remains stalled. Yeah. That's absolutely the case. Putin, Putin believes that right now there's exactly the time to call the United States and the West in the whole just to start negotiating the, 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 this transaction. In effect, capitulation of Ukraine. That is that is absolutely the case. Uh, he believes that um, the fatigue uh, will come to the to the mind of uh, Western governments, and they stop or considerably reduce support of Ukraine. And that's what he believes. And that's why Donald Trump, with his position, what he is pressing right now, this fits on this agenda absolutely correctly. That's what Putin wants to, I would say, aggravate this feeling, aggravate this process. I do want to ask you about two other l little pieces in the interview before I just get sort of your overall 
thoughts on on why he did this. But um, Carlson did raise the case of American uh, journalist Evan Gerskovich. He's a, a Wall Street journal uh, journalist who's been imprisoned. Putin uh, alleges he he was spying, but he also said in that interview that he does hope he returns to his homeland. Should anyone in the United States believe that that Putin is open to allowing this journalist to be freed? Uh, I think that's the only news in this particular yeah. interview, which needed to be. And uh, he directly expressed his willing to, to, to change his agent, who is killer, just murder, uh, for, 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 for the journalist who just no one believes he's, he's working for whatever CIA or any uh, other agencies. He wants to bring back his agent. That's what uh, he openly gave this signal. So that there would be uh, essentially an exchange of um, people in, in prison, in prisoners, ex essentially, to get Evan out. Is that right? I guess so. Yeah, yeah. I, I also want to raise the, the there was a Canadian um, moment in that interview uh, because of a, a man that was uh, in inside Parliament, the House of Commons, when uh, President Zelensky was here, subsequently found out that he had um, served on the, the, the Nazi side during World War II, and uh, Mr. Putin brought that up. I guess as an attempt to embarrass Mr. President Zelensky, is that how you interpreted that? Uh, and the fact that Mr. Putin uh, uses this uh, simply to emphasize and to uh, to find another proof that he is fighting with Ukraine just to to destroy Nazi. Of course, right. this is his imagination. He continued to to create just different stories. Of course, extreme right is in every country, but Putin believes that the government in Ukraine this and this uh, the case would happen in Canadian Parliament. Of course, gives him another opportunity to demonstrate those all those Ukrainians are Nazi or just and those um, who support them in Canada just also don't understand they're supporting the Nazi regime or something, the Nazi feeling. That's what he uses just to have, a, 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 I would say, the, the tough, tough issue for Canadians. Given that you know Putin so well, um, maybe not anymore, but you used to, how do you think he would have walked away from that interview? What, like, what would he, what would he have thought about how he did and what his, how his message was going to be received? Uh, I think he is completely satisfied uh, because of the simple reason. First, prior to the interview, he got a list of questions, and they prohibited Mr. Carson to answer to ask another a, a number of questions about, for instance, all these. Um, uh, military, military uh, uh, criminal activity, just what uh, already registered and supported and, and produced uh, for, 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 the, for the Hague Court, and uh, just pressure on opposition in Russia, and prisoning just political leaders and all the things. Yeah. Yeah, that was prohibited to, to ask him. That's why he got the questions he wanted to get, uh -huh. and uh -huh. he you answers because he already just repeated many, many times. Yeah. And that's why he is absolutely happy. What, why does he care so much about how he is perceived in the West? Why, why do you think that's so important to him? Because just he wants the United States to reconsider their position and would stop supporting Ukraine. And he believes that these uh, Trump's supporters would uh, consider, would follow this, the, 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 this trend. And that's why he provided these arguments, which is created by him in, in, in history. He made a, a half an hour lecture to Mr. Carson. Mm -hmm. the, the, the journalist even didn't understand what he was talking about. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it, it was funny stuff, but it is, happens every time because yeah. Putin just liked to, to build up his own textbook of history. Do, do you think that, that what, what he did in this interview, that it has any impact on the war? Or are you more concerned about the other things, the, the, the aid in the U.S., the, the fatigue, potential fatigue in supporting Ukraine? What, what, what do you think is the outcome here? No influence at all. The only, the only purpose is, is American citizens supporting Trump. He wanted to help Mr. Trump to win if a uh, Russian argument is placed in any, in any case, let this argument would be just Putin's argument. That's what he made this job. Uh, uh, other people just even do, would, would know, would know, would know, uh, watch or listen to this. Yeah. Mr. Kazyanov, nice to see you again. Thank you so much for uh, taking the time to talk about this with us. Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure.